Welcome back to Rocket City. We have made it here to year three, finally, at long last. This year, I'm extremely excited because we have a lot of good things going for us. Coming off a 10-win season and our first bowl victory. This year, we added another team to the Sun Belt, so now we got a chance at a conference championship. And our former offensive coordinator and quarterback, Anthony Burks, got himself a promotion over at Texas State as the new head coach over there. You can see his prestige is a B-plus, highly sought-after guy. He's only 23. A lot of potential with him. And what's even cooler, we got him on the schedule right down dead in the middle of the season at week seven. We get him at home, so he gets to come back to Huntsville, see his old alma mater. And he's on the opposite side of the conference too, so depending on how each of us play out, we could see him in the conference championship as well. Last year, we finished the season as the 30th ranked team in the country. This year, we were much lower at 64, but hey, we started last year at 126, so 64, massive improvement. And if you see at the top of the screen, we have finally have two stars on our prestige instead of one. 74 overall, 79 offense, 71 defense. Hopefully that defense is not dragging us down as much as it did last year. I don't think we have anyone on the roster who has Heisman potential, but you know, Jeff Eden had his moments last year, but he did downgrade in the offseason. Preseason All-Americans, I don't think we have anyone on the first team. However, on the second team, we got Josh Merrill and Lonnie Clayton. Lonnie Clayton has a really good chance of being an All-American again this year. Josh Merrill started to develop a drop problem near the end of last season, so we'll see if he can make up for that, because he downgraded his catching in the offseason as well. So hopefully it does not get worse for him. For your outlook for us, it looks like if we get worse last year, we lose a lot of key playmakers, but this is the first year we really open up recruiting. I broke down all the restrictions. The reason I'm doing that is because of the way the development system works in the off season. I goofed in the preseason recruiting. I accidentally advanced too quickly, did not have anybody on my board, so I am a week behind in recruiting right now. Not good. However, we have some absolute legends on this list. How about Frank Leaf? Legendary name reminds me of my FICA in the corner of the room. Only real OGs know him. Great arm strength, and he looks like he can run the ball, and he's going to plow through you too. Break tackle 85-84 trucking. Tim Missile. Not only is that the coolest name I've ever seen for a linebacker, but he's 6'8", 267, an absolute behemoth of a human being. 99 acceleration, 89 speed, 91 hit power, 85 block shedding. Not only is his name Missile, but this man is going to play like a missile on the field. So I found this guy named Charles Waters, and you're not going to believe this. This man, I think he's a Josh Allen clone or at least as close as you can get right here in this video game. Maybe not the speed and rushing ability of it, but that arm strength, 97, throw accuracy, 87. If you get this guy, he will be in the NFL. And what's even cooler is top three bonus factors, coach prestige, playing style, which we have an A plus for because we throw the rock around quite a bit. So we got a fighting chance for him. Tyler Parrish looks like a really fun athlete as well. 88 speed, 90 throw power. Do I need to say more? So I haven't really looked at this yet, but we're tied for the third longest win streak in college football right now with seven wins. Let's try and keep that one going. Check out our my school rankings for things. It looks like my coach prestige is carrying this football team. Conference prestige is going up too because we're getting a better football team and we got Anthony Burks in there on the other side carrying it. So that's going to be pretty good for recruiting this year. We really need to start adding some funding to getting a better stadium. We'll look into that in this offseason. Debut game. Samuel Wusu getting the tap on the shoulder from head coach Drew Morris. Playing our old FCS rival, FCS Southeast. Here we go. Season three has officially begun. Chris Graham, the new kick returner. 98 speed, highly touted athlete. His first. Oh, I thought he was going to slip through there. I was about to say his first return. Can he rip it all the way? And I'm really excited about this running game this year. We got a whole new offensive coordinator, brand new playbook, and a brand new running back in Brandon Ford. He was the guy I had to go set out and try and get, and he's got a six yard run on his first attempt. We got a lot of new formations. This looks like a pistol one breaking through and he's got a first down, 10 yard gain. It's only against FCS right now, but if we can run the football effectively, we'll be a much better team. Got another carry for him, and he's getting through to the second level. We got a Wusu over there getting separation on the first pass of the year. He is officially our number one wide receiver again. He is the one who consistently puts in the work in the offseason. I'm not going to force that. Let's just take it on the ground with Jeff Heat and get the first. He's still got it. Go up and get it. Oh, he tried to go snatch it out of the air. Oh, they've got me boxed in. Throw it away. Fumble. Rip. 
This is the last way I wanted to start this game. I was just trying to get space to throw the football away, and now we end up turning it over, and they got it in the red zone. The Drewskis are back. But hey, we get to see some of the new D-line. Hopefully, they can make some plays. Veggie Smith, the veteran, and we got Carter with the neck roll. I like it. I don't think we're going to be necessarily a good defense this year, but we definitely have a lot of new faces who hopefully aren't absolutely atrocious. So compared to last year, we should be solid. And he's out of bounds. Two new players dragging him out. Will he have to try and scramble? I don't think he's got space to go for it. We sack him. Excellent play. I think we got it covered up. And he missed him. Fourth and goal. What a stand from the defense. Eaton has already got a mild concussion. He's out for the game. Man, this poor guy. He had such talent. And he is just made of glass. I guess that means we're going to be seeing Wayne Fontino earlier than we expected. Oh my gosh, I can feel it. Chris Graham's going to be lethal this year. Definitely not going to be able to catch him. Fastest man on the team. Maybe the fastest man in the country. Chris Grant to the house. That is sick. A lot of people are probably like, why'd you take it away from Josh Merrill? He was pretty good last year. Well, can you believe the ceiling that we could have with Chris Graham? This man is nutty. One game, he's only got two returns so far, and he's got himself a touchdown. Can't throw a pick if you never make it to the offense in the first place. And look at that new punter on the kickoffs. Way in the back of the end zone. They won't even have a chance at a return this year. We got two new safeties in the back. Yeah, I love to see that. Hopefully they're much better at coverage than the last few guys. Oh, and Parker seems like he can't hit. Our strong safety, Parker, was a sneaky one. He beat out Jason Hudgens in camp, and they won the job. So hopefully he can show me that he's actually good. And look at the coverage from everybody. Recruiting defense last year is paying off dividends already. Oh, he's going down. Scooping it up is Doug Mayfield. I love this new defense. You recruit it. You're focusing on it for one offseason. We got the dreads. I believe his name is John Wise punching the ball out. Wayne Fontino. Seeing him much earlier than we expected. We'll run the ball for a little bit. Get you in the zone. There you go on the screen pass. Just keeping it simple for you. Running down people is Brandon Ford at the second level. Going to be hearing that a lot this year. Wide open, it's Chris Graham, and he's got a first down. Great throw from Wayne Fonteno. Oh, he's throwing a missile. Ryan Brown, once again, not able to catch the football. That's why he doesn't get more playing time. So this is something you'll see this season is we're going to bring in the punter, Dave Dunlap, to take these longer field goals because he has the stronger leg. Hopefully he can do it. Got 13 mile per wins with him, and that is just money. Hey, why don't you just take every kick this season? Whoa, just plowing through him. There goes neck roll again. Will he pitch it out? He can. T. Denson can't break off the block. We got Parker from the other side. QB keeper, and he's getting snuffed out. Neck roll is at him again. I like how we keep calling him neck roll when he has a name. I just don't remember his first name. Neck roll is getting action everywhere. Devin Carter already has three TFLs, but we know him as neck roll because he's a legend. That's the stop from the sophomore, William Newton. They make another field goal, 6-10. to 10. Last year, this defense would have given up like 40 points at this time. I kind of forced that to a Wusu, but there's not a more for sure target on the team. You're going to let the backup running back, Cam Miller, get some carries. So Cam is a high overall player. My biggest knock on him is he's just a little bit slow. But we'll see how he actually is in this game. Oh, and he actually looks pretty solid. Can't even tell this man's only got 83 speed. They're stacking the box now. They know we're running it, but can they stop us? Brandon Ford is just a tank. Adrian Peterson, Derrick Henry. I don't even know his comparison, but he's just damn good. Woo! Welcome to this new age Rocket City offense. We run the ball. It's smash mouth football. Punting is for quitters. Ryan Brown, oh, there you go. You drop a couple, but as long as you catch it eventually. There you go, Wusu. I saw that all the way. He's trucking him down. This is power versus power here. Not able to fight through. That O-line's just not strong enough up there. Deflected away. That was just excellent coverage. Just a chip shot and oh, <laughs> barely sliding in there for Jacob Harrison, but he still makes it. This was a defensive performance here in this first half. What a showing. But now it's time to hear from our NIL sponsor, 
Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to create a beautiful website and run your business. They have countless best-in-class website templates, and you can customize them to fit your needs. For me, I built a website called the Let's Go Forward Foundation. Two, it's a fictional nonprofit founded by Brandon Ford, the new true freshman running back for Rocket City. He made this to help low-income families in the greater Huntsville area. And with Squarespace, I can check analytics to see how many people visit the site and figure out which channels are most effective. I'm also able to embed third-party videos on Squarespace so new visitors can see Brandon Ford's greatness both on and off the field. Squarespace has been awesome. They've been sponsoring my channel for many years now, and I can't thank them enough. But what you should do is take advantage of my special offer right now and use my custom link in the description below at squarespace.com slash not the expert for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Once again, take advantage of my special offer right now and use my custom link in the description below at squarespace.com slash not the expert for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring Brandon Ford and this video. Whoa, whoa! How is he doing that? He's got nothing. He's going to have to toss this one out of bounds. The defense gets another stop. Keeper for Wayne Fontino. They were not expecting that. Just slide down. Sneaky. Just got to heave it. Past the linebacker. And oh, the running back almost made a nice catch. Fontino's ball placement hasn't been bad. He's just had some drops from his receivers. Got guys in his face, and he's going to go down. Not able to extend plays as much as Jeff Eaton, of course. Thought we had a wusu there for a second, but got a little too nervous. Hey, way to stay at home, Carlos Willis. Last year, that would have been a touchdown. Get in front of that. Oh, Carlos Willis, I thought you were going to be able to make a play. Try to go for the pick. Right on the goal line, and he's in for the touchdown. Well, we bent a lot, and we ended up breaking, but it's not like we broke immediately, so this is about where I feel like our defense is. We'll occasionally make stops, but we're not elite. I just don't see it right now. I can maybe hit X, but I just didn't get space to throw the football. Oh, I see him deep. Does he have the arm strength? That one's a beauty. Josh Merrill passed the defense, and he's in the end zone. Oh, that's what we needed. Just a flick of the wrist, and he just hucked it way downfield. That was sick. We've been waiting all game for a big play like that, and we finally got it. That's the longest pass in terms of air yards that we've had in school history right there. And we sit the safety on the blitz. T. Denson sacking the quarterback. I see over there Chris Graham beat his man. Is that too far? Yes, it is. Got to throw that quick, and Owusu's got it. Had a corner on his back, and he still hauls it in. This one should be fun. Chris Graham, jet sweep. Oh, we got the edge for him, and a block from Owusu. He's got the lead one, too. Chris Graham is gone. We got ourselves a new lethal weapon here at Rocket City. And Owusu gets the medal for this one, really. Such a great effort. We're going to have to use that play more often. Chris Graham, two big touchdowns in this game so far. The fans love it. Oh, how did he get past everybody? My goodness, that tight end got that speed burst. And they got themselves a touchdown. Oh, no wonder Steven Parker was up close. Veggie Smith was supposed to get the deep ball, and he's just not great in coverage. Woo, he might do it again. Chris Graham, oh, he's pushed out of bounds, but man, he's going to win the returner of the year for sure. Oh, bounces to the outside. And then cut back in on him. Spinning around. Got to have more moves than just running through them. Time to bring Dave Dunlap back out here. Uh-oh. That might have too much sauce on it. Nope, but he gets it. Another 45-plus yard field goal for our punter. He doesn't have him. He's going to send it anyway. And that one's mine. Neck roll, Devin Carter is having himself a debut, isn't he? TFL's galore, and now he's got himself a user pick. Pretty much sealing the game at this point. Love to see it. We're going to let Clinton Charles get a couple of reps for what he did to us last season. And look at the lead block from Awusu. Can Brandon Ford go? That's the best run he's had yet. Great blocking from the team. Awusu might be the best blocker on the team, and he's a wide receiver. Oh, we got it again. Awusu! 
Maybe this is what we need to do. Attack the corners with the toss plays. You know what it is. It's all those tosses from Clinton Charles. He knows how to do it. It's working. Brandon Ford's going to get the end zone. First touchdown of his career. Well deserved. And I'm sure the first of many. Clapping around. Give him that game ball. He's going to want to remember it. We are going to have some fun here on this final field goal attempt. 59 yarder. Can Dave Dunlap sink it? He's got the power. Oh, he drills it. Nearly a 60-yarder. And this is his first game on campus. Dave Dunlap, you, sir, have expanded our range so much. There you have it. Victorious in week one. Took us a while to get going. But yes, the play of the game. Hands in his face. Wayne Fonteno showing what he could really end up being if he can just kind of rein it in and show his true potential. Chris Graham getting the player of the game after he got the kick return, and then he also had the jet sweep that he took to the house. So we're going to have to talk about our offense. It's not nearly as lethal as it was with Anthony Burks calling all the plays. We weren't nearly as creative, but we're trying to figure out every game. I might have to take away the playbook from our offensive coordinator. He ain't too good. Wayne Fontenot went in there in relief of Jeff Eaton, who got hurt after just really like one drive. Man, it's made of glass. We're going to have to change around our game plan we got to stop scrambling around with him so much, which stinks because that's really the extra value he provides. So I don't know. I'm not really sure what the game plan is because if you just turn him into a pocket passer, you're not really using his true potential. So Wade Fontenot coming in relief, 9 of 19, 139 yards, one touchdown. That one touchdown was sick. A lot of the incompletions were either him overthrowing the ball or it was our receivers just flat out dropping them. Brandon Ford's awesome though. First time a running back has gotten over 100 rushing yards for a team in school history. The only time anyone has ever got over 100 rushing yards it's been a wusu and it's been jeff eaton no one else has done it and chris graham he's just a constant home run threat he had one carry 51 yards for a touchdown as far as receiving goes we weren't able to throw the balls effectively today as we did last year but samuel wusu was the most efficient one he's probably going to be the main target in this new offense when we have to throw the football although of course we always got to mix in josh merrill chris graham and all our deep threats because it's fun to have those guys and samuel wusu four pancakes again even more reason why he's my favorite player. Devin Carter gets defensive MVP of the game for me. Six solo tackles, three TFLs, one interception, which was a user pick. And then John Wise, new defensive tackle for the team, forced one fumble and it was scooped up by Doug Mayfield. Dave Dunlap, I mean, he might have to take over full-time kicking because this man has a boot. Dunlap also punted at one time and he downed it inside the 20. That's how you contribute to the team. Chris Graham, how can we forget about the kick return? We thought Josh Merrill was good last year. This guy's ceiling is nuclear. You could be looking at the best kick returner in college football, period. Looking back at this Wayne Fonteno touchdown earlier, it gets even crazier when you break it down because everyone on the O-line got beat literally every single person all four guys in his face before he's gearing up to ready to throw this and we see old josh merrill deep and just launches it with guys in his face taking a hit and then of course josh merrill does the rest catches it and he takes a, a couple of hits but he's strong enough and tall enough to squeeze his way into the end zone holy crap found myself maybe one of the biggest gyms i've ever seen plus 13 he's a three star but good lord look at his receiving ability to put it in perspective that's better than lonnie clayton who came in as a junior right this guy would be a freshman with that ability i gotta have it i gotta have it offer him a scholarship the second we can and dwayne jackson looks pretty talented as well this class is extremely deep as far as i've seen so far a lot of people i've scouted have been very good but also when you open it up and you scout the top in of the recruiting class yeah you're gonna see more better players so far we have charles waters who i think may be the most talented quarterback prospect i have seen in terms of arm talent look at this guy nick marshall i've never seen a tight end with 91 speed you can just write everything else off if you got 91 speed and you've got the size 6'5, 267 there's so much you can do with that if we get even half of these guys it will be the best class in school history and it's not even close well that's pretty much all i got for this video next episode we take on Alabama. Alabama. We always know this is the game we always look forward to. We play it early on in the year. Can't miss the Alabama rivalry game. Gotta be here next time. But anyways, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book, and as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert, and I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you to Patreon supporters, Tristan Stagner, Christian Tag, Anthony Uhaz, Tyler McGlynn, Zach Harper, Jacob Jordan, Timbo Slice, Richard Pizer, Jason Huerta, Tyler Cracker, Wyatt, Matt Woodruff, Jack Webb, Casey Knox, Austin Gazzetti, Seth Washburn, and Rosalie Jarecki.